on his day, the most exciting player in the entire league, Zorn. The reason why I thought it was important for me to come with a book is for me to tell my story because uh, I know my story resonates with a lot of kids going through similar um, experiences that I've, I've gone through. And I just want to share how I was able to overcome certain obstacles and how I was able to leverage those obstacles to become the person I am today and use those challenges to fuel my passion. You tell some pretty heavy stories about growing up in Scarborough, Ontario. Was it difficult for you to revisit those stories and those memories for this book? I thought was very um, therapeutic in one. And I, I also realized that I was holding on to a lot of stuff that I need to let go of and get past that now and telling my story. What are some stories that people can find in this book that you've never spoken about publicly before or that fans of yours would be surprised to hear when they read this? Growing up as a, as a street kid, you know, and, and what that what journey was like and, and the temptations and, and, you know, being lured into and, and deciding to do things that wasn't consistent to maybe my, my teachings at home. Being able to overcome that and not let that define me as a, as, as a person or as a young man growing up with so much baggage on my shoulder and so much weight on my shoulder. Is there anything that surprised you during the writing process as you reflected on your life and career? My parents splitting up at a very young age you know, and, and speaking openly about that, I realized that I was still holding on to, to these things and I need to let it go. I think my relationship with my mother ha has improved, obviously since writing the book, my dad passed away last year. So that was very difficult, especially when I'm getting into the, the, the part where I'm talking ab about him and our relationship and then dealing with that. Besides the writing process and now doing promo for your book, what, what else are you up to these days? I have my Dero Foundation program that focuses on providing opportunities for after school kids in inner city communities and using sport as a platform to teach them health, nutrition, money management, financial literacy, anti-bullying, as well as proud ambassador for MLFC, uh, Toronto FC, and growing the game and growing the brand of Toronto FC. So I'm pretty busy, not to mention I have my own kids with their dreams and aspirations and um, trying to fuel their passions as well. And Dwayne, thank you very much uh, for speaking with me today. What is the title and where can people find the book? The title is called My Life. It's in Indigo. It, come, it uh, launches May 11th. It's in most independent bookstores. But uh, you, like I said, you can check me out on DwayneDearZero.com or my social outlets where I'll be putting plugs on there for, for where you can purchase the book. Awesome. Thanks, Dwayne. Thank you.